Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everyone. Okay, PLP? PLP? And PLP again. Amen. Good to see all of you tonight. And welcome to tonight's meeting. Um, when I saw the rain out in the Eastern Harbor for, before I came here, I wondered if Father was going to be able to hold Mass tonight. But I see, <laughs> I see we, uh, we are still here in full form. So thank you very much uh, for coming out tonight. And um, I'm gonna, the speaker will come on in a minute. Everybody's asking what this topic is about. Um, he just told me that he's very nervous because he's not. No man, just be free, you're Yeah. Um, tell you uh, philosophically though, um, remember all the uh, young PLP leaders who passed through this, uh, through this branch. Um, I was thinking like, well, Jamal, of course, is one of them. He's an old man now, but, <laughs> but he was one of them. And you know, Reynard Rigby was our first uh, campaign manager for the 2002 election. Latre Ramming used to be a regular speaker. And to Sean Maud, uh, Ahmad Burns, Gerard Davel. So they all passed through here. And I remember um, one day, Jeff Lloyd used to have a radio program on television before he became a politician and minister of education. And because I was the resident blabbermouth, anytime they couldn't find anybody else to get on the radio, they would just say, I need you to come and be a guest. So instead of my doing that one day, I said, I got a young man who I think you should ask him to come and talk. And I, he said, okay, who? And I said, Reynard Rigby, what about him? And he said, who's that? I never heard of him. Um, he said, no, I need you to come there um, because nobody's heard of Reynard Rigby before. And uh, so anyway, I said, okay, I'll come, but I'm only gonna sit there in the, in the studio. I'm gonna let him do most of the talking. Uh, I met Reynard when he was a student at the University of the Bahamas. It was then the College of the Bahamas. And I was filling in for the lectures in the spring of 1988 for uh, the politics and government class at the college. In that class was also um, Mike, Mike Halkidis. And uh, well, they ended up, he later became the chairman of the PLP. And uh, he's now a, a senior attorney. And Mike Halkidis is now a minister of the government. And the reason I, I point that story out, I mean, uh, Jamal himself got his own practice and, you know, is a, a star of stage and screen in a way because of his prominence in Rotary and the work that he's doing here. But an organization cannot grow unless it has, particularly a political organization, cannot grow unless it has low barriers to entry. It's got to be an easy organization to join. And that makes it possible for people of talent to come into the organization and make the organization stronger. And one of the, one of the issues which our opponents uh, in the free national movement is always used against them is that the FNM seems like a family business. So if you're not related to any one of them in the hierarchy, you can't get anywhere in the organization. And the PLP must fight against that. It must be an open organization. And there are high risks to being an open organization because you get a lot of bad with the good. But you know, what did Jesus say? You let the tares and the wheat grow together and then you figure that out later. So, that's one of the reasons why I always, uh, any, anyone who wants to get a start in public life, I think we should make our platforms available to them to share their ideas and to get that start. Uh, he's spoken before um, at some of our events and it's been a while since he's been here, so it'll be interesting to see what he has to say. But I do want to, before he comes on, I want to join with the branch and Ida and all the leadership to 
extend condolences to those families who lost loved ones. And, you know, a couple of weeks ago, there was a fire in Eastwood. The black family lost their home and all their possessions. And the matriarch of that family was overcome by smoke inhalation and had to be taken to hospital. Unfortunately, after weeks in hospital, she didn't make it, so she passed away. So we want to extend condolences to them, to the Curry family uh, in uh, polling division number one. Cora Davis had a brother who passed away. Lorraine, who campaigned with us, uh, related to Ty Fowler and, and Ida, who passed away. Um, so people are leaving us, and we remember, remember them fondly, and may they rest in peace. And I also want to say a, a bit about the rotation again. We're trying to rotate these meetings. So sometimes the meetings are going to be here. Uh, other times they're going to be at Doris Johnson, and then other times at L.W. Young. Uh, that's because some people prefer to go to those uh, forums. And so we want people to have an opportunity as the meetings move around. And there's going to be a community meeting in Monastery Park. We're trying to set a date for sometime next week. Uh, it got rained out on Monday, uh, on Tuesday past. We were supposed to have the meeting, but it poured rain. And um, so we had to postpone it. Uh, but I did get a chance to actually do a walkthrough because there's a lot of ponding in that area. And so we have a lot of work to do in terms of trying to get those uh, those areas that accumulate water. And then, to add insult to injury, we had just fixed the pothole opposite uh, De Bing on the Fox Hill Road when the water main burst. So in the middle of the rain, they had to dig up the road, and there were, I mean, there's water everywhere you can see. I'm not sure how far along they are trying to fix it now, but they said something about they have to pump all the water and, Something, something, something. But let's hope they get that fixed uh, quickly. And thank you all for the work you did for the Lenten tea. And it was really a huge success. Um, it's almost outgrown the venue <laughs> because it's, such, it's so popular. But you know, there are reasons why we want to have it there to make sure that we are connected with the people there in that area. So thank you to the Higgs uh, family for allowing us into their uh, home and garden. And that looks like all the announcements. The pool party with little children. And uh, Georgette is not here. She was the Easter Bunny this time. She's, she, she plays Santa Claus at Christmas and the Easter Bunny at springtime. Right. <laughs> And she's equally as popular uh, when she shows up. So the children had a great time. And uh, the swimming pool was full. So thank you to Warren Davis for getting that organized. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. And we're hoping to make an announcement shortly with the striping group. Uh, during the summertime, there are going to be swim lessons offered in the swimming pool for the entire summer. So um, they can. Uh, And we also want to be sure that we get this, uh, this hall properly named after Ms. Roca, because we've been promising to do that for a while. Uh, so there are lots of things coming up. There's the Fox Hill Festival is being planned. Uh, that should be pretty good. This, we've got a new committee this, uh, this year, which is headed by Warren Davis. So I look forward to, to that. OK, so now is the moment um, that you've all been waiting for. Drum roll. Um, so he works as a customs officer. I didn't know why he would be nervous, because he was training to be a Seventh-day Adventist minister. But he lost his vocation, sad to say. Um, notwithstanding that, though, he's still quite a decent human being. Lots of ideas and likes to text people early in the morning when all good people should be in their beds. 
but um, it's my privilege really and honor to ask him to come and say a few words to you all and thank you again for coming out tonight and for your continued support. So, Damasio. Thank you. It's great to be here.